Welcome to Talk of the Town. We're glad that you're with us today because we have back with us Karen Pierce. Hey, yes, welcome to the show, Karen. Yes, I'm glad to be back. And I'm she's excited. So excited. I'm becoming quite the regular... You are the regular... Secondary co-host The, here. the regular guest host. Yeah. yeah. And actually, um, Kay is on special assignment again. Hey, Kay, if you can see us down in... Where is she at, James? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. So probably not, but you can huh. always check us out on the web. Right? I think I need to go on those assignments. Yeah, you need to think, yeah, talk yeah. to Dan and he'll hook you up, Kay's husband. So, ah. so uh, anyway, as you can see, we have a what's going to be an interesting show. Um, you know, this is uh, we have um, Audrey from Moyes with mm -hmm. us, and uh, she's going to be telling us about compounding. So, uh, you know, no snooping in the medicine cabinets because we have it right here for you. So, kind of interesting. I kind of want to make something yeah. here. And I think they have something special coming up. Yeah, on mm -hmm. June 3rd, to celebrate the opening of the Rock Quarry Bridge, finally, um, <laughs> they are going to have the varsity truck there all day. Mm, um, so, yeah, you can stop by and get medication and greasy hot yeah. dogs and yummy. french fries. Well, everyone knows what the varsity is like. You know, and actually, we did a, uh, a remote show down in their McDonough location when they had the varsity truck out there for the customer appreciation day. Really? The place was packed. Yeah. Mm. But they're, uh, they've got the, the varsity trucks touring around to all the different sites at different times. But anyway, do get out there uh, June 3rd, and we'll, we'll hit it up again next time uh, yeah. that we're on the show. But um, we have uh, some runs coming up. We do. Mm -hmm. um, May 18th, we've got Run for Life with mm -hmm. the Fayette. It benefits the Fayette Pregnancy Resource Center. Right. Um, it's at 8 o'clock, and it's actually in a little bit different location for us yeah. than Henry County. It's in Fayetteville, right? Yeah. Downtown Fayetteville. So that's going to be fun. Get Set Grow comes to Fayetteville. Yeah. Nice, and fun. And then after that, June 1st, we have the Cirque de Marietta. Mm -hmm. um, it's for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Yeah. Yeah, and it's going to be up in Marietta. On your the wife, Steph, yeah, is involved. Stephanie, we got had a show with her a little bit yeah. ago. So, so that's going to be a good one. Very exciting stuff. And then we start with the night series races on the 15th, June 15th. Yeah. Uh, down at Gezzo's, which are going to be really, really fun. But yeah. uh, with the that, most fun part of those, of course, are the after, after party. party. So you've got the 5K, the fitness, and then that's right, and then fun afterwards. Live entertainment. Yeah. So uh, anyway, we do have uh, Audrey here with us from Moise and Stockbridge, and she's going to talk to us about compounding. And we will be right back in one second. It's a farm where you take berries from the bush to the ice cream bowl with a little fun mixed in between. It's an outdoor nature adventure with your kids that they will relive with theirs one day. It's a family excursion through a wild animal safari right in your own backyard. It's the corporate retreat, where you're in the driver's seat. It's an evening out with a few friends, or a night of speed with a few thousand friends. It's Henry County, comfortably south of Atlanta. Your smile is important to us. Here at the cosmetic and restorative practice of Dr. Linda King, we specialize in personalized custom care to help you achieve a beautiful, healthy smile with the most gentle methods. We customize a treatment plan especially for you. And from your first phone call, we want to create a relationship of trust and confidence in our staff and our techniques. So call today to be on your way to a beautiful new smile. Did you know your Moyes Health Mart Pharmacy has six locations in Henry County? It's true. Why not shop at a locally owned pharmacy where you can experience the friendliness, professionalism, and personal commitment the citizens of Henry County have enjoyed for over 30 years? Our location on Hudson Bridge Road in Stockbridge offers free compression hosiery fittings. Do you stand all day and suffer from swollen legs? Let our staff provide you with a professional consultation to assess your needs. Moyes Health Mart Pharmacy, caring for you and about you. Hello, I'm Steve Nail, President of Nail Heating and Air Conditioning. Comfort and peace of mind. With Nail Heating and Air Conditioning, you get certified drug-free workers, a lifetime warranty on your installations, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee. We can design the perfect indoor comfort environment for you. Clean air, humidity control, lower bills. You can't lose. Call today for your free in-home estimate. 
Simple, worry-free comfort from someone you trust. Nail Heating and Air Conditioning. Are you looking for that homemade southern cooked meal without spending time in the kitchen? Come visit Phil's Southern Cooking, where fresh homestyle breakfast, lunch, and dinner is served daily. We're family owned and operated since 1982, and our daily buffet includes fresh vegetables, catfish, homemade desserts, and of course, Phil's famous fried chicken. In a hurry, just call ahead and we'll have it ready. We're newly remodeled, so come on in. We're waiting for you at Phil's Southern Cooking in Stockbridge. Never been so happy, dancing, swinging, laughing at me, smile on my face. It's happiness for days. Uh oh. You are everything I need. Happy ever after will be. Couldn't even dream a better, couldn't even dream a better way. Welcome back. With us now is Audrey Eccles, who is a pharmacist over at uh, Moyes in Stockbridge on 138, right? Yes. Awesome. And she is here. She's going to talk to us about compounding. What is compounding, all the different uses and things like that. So, uh, Audrey, are you ready to go? I'm ready. All right. We have a lot of products here, but we want to start off first by telling all the viewers out there, what what is compounding? Pharmacy compounding... Um, is when a pharmacist takes the pure chemicals and combines them um, with advanced techniques and makes them into certain dosage forms mm -hmm. um, for specific patient populations mm -hmm. that are not commercially available. All right, sounds good. So why would we need compounding? Um, one of the main reasons we would need compounding if a patient would need a certain strength of medication or a, so, or, or a certain dosage form to deliver the medication to them, mm -hmm. say they may have a problem swallowing medications or they can't take um, prescription medications by mouth, so we could use the pure chemicals and make them into a topical cream or ointment, um, or we could make them into a solution mm -hmm. um, in order to deliver the um, compound to the patient. I've got I'm sorry, I got, I got a great example there. My son, when he was growing up, still to this date, has difficulty taking tablets or pills or stuff like that. So you just I, threw him under the bus. No, 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 <laughs> it's, it's totally legit. Hey, Zach. <laughs> um, but we, we have a lot of fun with it. But I mean, that would be a perfect example of, it you know, because I'm sure there's plenty of other kids out there that have problems with, you know, swallowing the pills, you know? I mean, some of them are like horse tablets, too. They are. You know? Um, as well as, uh, we compound um, heart medications for children. Mm. Um, babies, when they're born, sometimes have you know, heart problems or young children, and it doesn't come in the strength that they may need. So we take the pure chemical and change it into a solution as well as we flavor it into a, you know, something that the child would enjoy taking on a daily basis, like bubblegum flavor or That's watermelon mm -hmm. flavor, and it makes it easier for patient compliance. Mm. So you can customize that per child? Per patient. Per yes. patient. That, that's neat. So if the parent comes in and their child loves watermelon flavor, you can do that. Yes. We have a whole, awesome. a whole, in our lab, um, we have all kinds of different um, flavors, anywhere uh -huh. from watermelon to grape to... Uh, we also have something that um, masks the bitter taste sometimes, you know, um, cough medications or antibiotics are really bitter tasting. Mm -hmm. It's not just for children, it's for adults. It just doesn't sure. taste well. Mm -hmm. um, and we can flavor them to mask that flavor to help them take their medications. Do you have um, a, a flavor that is sought after more than one of the others? or I would say um, bubblegum flavor mm -hmm. for children mm -hmm. is uh, mm -hmm. very um, common as well as grape. Um, now for, we also do a small percentage of our compounding is for um, veterinarian. Um, so if we were to make like a doggy treat, um, we would flavor it, maybe say chicken, something the dog would, you know, could smell and want to take the medicine where you wouldn't have to battle with your pet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would Been be there, nice. Done that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or for uh, cats like fish, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, so if they smell it, then they'll... You know, they'll just think it's their food and they eat it. Wow. Now that's something most people wouldn't know that, you know, a pharmacist would That's available. Do. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about that off camera and I was just like blown away. As I had no idea. Is that a new thing or is that... Uh, no, compounding, compounding has been around for decades. It's just, 
in about the 1950s when, you know, mass production of um, medications from pharmaceutical companies um, took off, you know, it kind of went by the wayside. Mm -hmm. So um, we have some professionally trained um, people at Moy, such as myself, as well as um, some technicians that um, went out to um, Houston, Texas to be trained to you know, learn how to use our state-of-the-art equipment as well as the chemicals that we get from them um, and advanced techniques um, to make the certain dosage forms that the patients or animals may require. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So, so your compounded products, are they FDA approved? Um, our actual end product is not approved, but the actual ingredients that we get, okay. the pure chemicals, we get them out of PCCA. Um, we are members of PCCA, and PCCA is um, Professional Compounding Centers of America, mm -hmm. um, and it's basically a group of a whole bunch of pharmacists, chemists that come together, um, and they're able to provide us with feedback on our products as well, because, mm -hmm. I mean, there's times that, you know, a patient may present with a prescription or present with a problem, and you know, we need someone to refer to to help us. How long is the product going to be stable? Um, so the drug companies mass produce, you know, a lot of medications that are used on a daily basis, but there's mm -hmm. still a need for, you know, certain dosage forms. Um, and one of the biggest needs is hormone replacement therapy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, certain medications come in certain dose, dosage forms, mm -hmm. and, but that may not be the dosage form that you need. Um, so it kind of allows us to um, collaborate with physicians. Um, the physician may give them a saliva or a blood test and find out what dosage the patient may need to, um, for hormone replacement. For mm -hmm. a female, it may be, you know, their estrogen or for a male, low testosterone. And uh, for instance, testosterone, you know, it's not absorbed very well if you take it by mouth. So if we change it to a topical cream, um, you know, it allows you to right. get your medication that you need. Awesome. So it's customized. To That's make you feel better. Wow. Awesome. And effective. And effective yeah. use. So anyway, what uh, some great information here. We have a lot more uh, still in order. So uh, stay tuned for us. Uh, stay tuned with us. We'll be right back. We are this close. We're this close. We are this close. Of our mountain to To making history. This close to changing the world. We are this close. This close. This close to making sure no child suffers a crippling disease ever again. This close. We are this close to ending polio. To ending polio. All we need is you. Is you. This close. If we don't act now, we may lose this chance forever. Help Rotary make history at endpolionow.org. Hi, I'm Lisa Hunter, publisher of Southern Journal Magazine. Henry County is an awesome community, and part of what makes us this way is our interaction with other Metro Atlanta neighbors. We will highlight these connections in Southern Journal Magazine. Many of our area businesses and community leaders are also involved in collaborative efforts, and we will be able to tell these stories in our new expanded format. We welcome you to your new, expanded, and improved version of Henry County's Premier Magazine. Henry County's only true wood fire restaurant, Steers Wood Fire Steaks and Seafood McDonough, will satisfy any appetite. It's casual dining where all steak and seafood are cooked over a signature hickory wood fire grill. You'll love their hand-cut tender and delicious black Angus steaks, aged to perfection for 21 to 45 days. Steers Wood Fire Steaks and Seafood has everything from pasta to chicken to sandwiches and salads. Enjoy the bar area and sit and relax with friends. Head them up and move them out to Steers Wood Fire Steaks and Seafood in McDonough. Would you like to be on TV? Do you like trivia? If so, SCB TV Channel 15 is looking for you. If you or some of your friends and co-workers are interested in being contestants on Triple Trivia, send us an email at info at scbtv.com. Give us your name, your telephone number, and your group name. We'll select some of our viewers to be on our show. So remember, email us. And don't let that useless information go to waste. You can 
receive a text or email when you get a package from the UPS store. Another reason why small business loves logistics. Welcome back. We're still here with Audrey from Moyes, pharmacist over at Moyes, and we're learning about compounding today, which is really pretty cool when you think about it. Um, they've got a wide variety of products that they can make for you. And um, Audrey, in the first segment, you told us a little bit about their training, and there's evidently a, a broad base of techniques that you can use in developing these compounded products, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Um, one of the most commonly used techniques um, that you use on a daily basis to compound is something known as trituration. Um, anytime somebody thinks of compounding, they probably think of the mortar and the pestle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so trituration is when you grind or mix the dry ingredients together with your mortar and your pestle um, and make it into a uniform mixture. So once those powders are made into a uniform mixture, you can either add food coloring to make sure it's a uniform mixturing that they're dispersed appropriately, mm -hmm. and then you can turn it into um, your delivery system, whether you want it to be in a solution or whether you want it to be in a cream or whether you want it to be in a suppository. Mm -hmm. So that, that's usually something that we do every day is trituration. Wow, hmm. interesting, good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So how would someone, uh, would you just go to your doctor and say, hey, you know, this medication is not working for me. Can I have it compounded? Do you have to go through your doctor to get a prescription for compounding? Yes, you do. Okay. Um, most of our local physicians know that we compound medications. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the reasons you may go to your doctor is say they're trying to manage a certain disease state and... Um, whatever medication you were getting, you know, whether you go through me and tell me as the pharmacist, hey, you know, this isn't managing my blood pressure or my pain, um, or a common one would be your hormonal symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, if a female's going through menopause and I could say, hey, you know, well, maybe that's just not the appropriate strength that you need. Maybe you require something a little different. Mm -hmm. Let me, you know, give your physician a call or I could recommend you to one that, you know, specializes in that and we could go from there. We could, you know, make it, customize it to mm -hmm. your needs. Hmm. That's awesome. So yeah. it's really a partnership between it is. you and the doctor. That's well, I great. like the idea of, of so much information that you're, yeah. that you're covering with both your, your physician, but then also your pharmacist as well. Look, we've got to have uh, some products here. Let's start off on the end, if you will. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, the balloon looking things over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the really balloon yummy. looking things are, um, yeah, they can be thought of as yummy. Samples? <laughs> no, I didn't bring samples today because they do require a prescription. <laughs> Um, a lot of times we make um, lollipops for pain management, um, or we could make them for children just to make them mm -hmm. more desirable. Um, and it would help with absorption because you, it would be absorbing through your oral mucosa versus just taking the tablet and waiting for it to dissolve. We were talking about that um, off camera. Explain that a little bit more because <laughs> the viewers might not understand that. Well, um, if, you, if you're using a lollipop, or a rectal suppository, um, the active ingredient reaches your blood faster than it would versus if you just took a tablet or a capsule because it has to, you know, go through your GI tract and mm -hmm. then it has to disintegrate and then it's absorbed systemically. Um, a lot of times we use our rectal suppositories um, for hospice patients because um, they're at end of life, unfortunately, usually and um, they're in pain. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and we'll either use, you know, oral drops or rectal suppositories because the drug is being able to be delivered to them faster and quicker to alleviate their symptoms. Sure, absolutely. So, for instance, if someone were, you know, nauseated with regular pain medication, that would help? It would absorb easier? Yes, as well as we also make a topical cream for nausea. Really? Um, that a lot of pregnant women can use to rub on their wrist, um, or if you're just getting nauseous from a side effect of the medication, uh -huh. or if you're just nauseous from, you know, having a viral infection and you huh. can't keep anything down, we make, um, we take the active ingredient and through using trituration, then we put it in a cream and you're able to apply it topically to your wrist and it relieves your nausea. Hmm. That's Interesting. Great. Now the bottle in front of you is uh, it's dream sickle, right? <laughs> <laughs> the bottle in front of me is just an example of a solution 
Um, that's when a patient such as your child might have a problem with swallowing a tablet or a mm -hmm. big um, capsule. Um, you could turn it into a liquid through a suspending agent mm -hmm. um, and you could dose it that way. But that's orange flavor. Yes, that's, yes, that's and little, most of the time they are flavored. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not a little swig. <laughs> no, no, no. How about some of these things? We got this, uh, this big guy right there. Well, Ooh. this big guy right here is just an example of um, an oral paste. It was actually something that is just an example that we made mm -hmm. when we were trained, um, such as for like an animal, such as like a horse or something. Um, and then these are just like special tops that you can put on the top of um, these mm -hmm. and it's that way you can put the syringes in here and the mom or the parent or the elderly patient it just helps mm -hmm. them um, easier where they don't Draw spill the mm -hmm. medication. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Now this right here um, this was the, the this vet? was the this was the example of mm -hmm. the um, doggy um, Treats. With the with the chicken so, flavor, with the, the chicken flavor. flavor, yeah. Now the re reason why I wanted to focus in on this, you guys do the packaging also as well. Yes, don't you? PCCA. I mean, we're talking about hospice patients and stuff. You can prepackage. Yes, dosages. we package the dosage mm -hmm. forms. We can do it individually or we can do it in bulk form. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time, it's individually um, because when say like when we make a cream, it would come out in something like this, mm -hmm. and then we would draw it up with the syringe. That mm -hmm. way. It has measurements on the side where we can, I would tell you as your pharmacist of how much to give yourself okay. um, on a daily basis. Awesome, good stuff. And again, we appreciate you being here. There's a lot more to cover, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Did you know your Moyes Health Mart Pharmacy has six locations in Henry County? It's true. Why not shop at a locally owned pharmacy where you can experience the friendliness, professionalism, and personal commitment the citizens of Henry County have enjoyed for over 30 years. Our location in downtown McDonough now carries fresh produce from Thompson Market. Anything fresher would still be growing. Stop by and pick up some delicious seasonal veggies today. Moy's Health Mart Pharmacy, caring for you and about you. Hold on to me as we go. It's time to pursue our dreams. It's time to work to give it our very all and not give up. American Family Insurance believes your dreams deserve the best protection. That's why we're committed to being there for you every step of the way. Call the Eric Schwadron Agency today to protect your dreams right here in Henry County. Bellamy Strickland is your one-stop service center for your vehicle. From car washes and detailing to oil changes, repairs, and tires. We give you low pricing options on parts and service to help meet your budget. We sell our tires with a 30-day price back guarantee with lifetime tire rotation. Come experience the best car wash and service in Henry County. Come visit Bellamy Strickland Chevrolet Buick GMC in McDonough. When it comes to buying flooring for your home, there's only one flooring store to visit. Carpet One Floor and Home. With the largest selection of beautiful, stylish carpets on sale, plus brand name hardwood flooring, laminate, and tile, you'll find everything you need to make your home look its best. All at great low prices. From service to selection, no other flooring store helps you bring out the lasting beauty and value of your home, like Carpet One Floor and Home, of the beautiful guarantee. Yep. It seems quiet now, but that could change in a minute. Keeping the streets safe for those who abide by the rules. We got a call of a 401 on Eagles Landing and Corporate Center. Be advised of a possible 2001. 104 DDT. I'm westbound intercepting. DDT, we have a runner. Send back up. <laughs> Hold it right there! Back here, back here. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad hair, bad hair. You have the right to remain with good hair. You have the right not to have split ends. Anything you do or say about the coloring of your hair can be used against you in the salon. Yep, she'll have her day at Damon's design team. Hopefully we'll never see her out in public looking like that again. 
And that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Welcome back. We're still here with Audrey. And Audrey, when we were talking off camera, we've learned a little bit about you. <laughs> she has a special day coming up here in a couple months. You have an anniversary from your time being spent with Moyes, right? I do. In September, I will be with Moyes Pharmacy for five years. Wow. Awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Good so deal. what makes them different from other pharmacies? Um, there's a lot that makes uh -huh. them different. Um, in many different ways. Um, the main thing is we're an independent local pharmacy, so we have obviously a diff many different specialty services such as compounding, um, but we want to offer the patient um, the best customer service that they can get. Mm -hmm. We don't want to just offer them, you come through the door, we're you know, filling your prescription and you're out the door. Most of my patients, um, I want to know who they are and what we're treating that way um, can help manage their disease states that they mm -hmm. may have or any problems. Well, you know, it, it, it is a lot about knowing your customer and building the relationships and things like that. And, and we know a ton of, you know, Moy's personnel. You know, you mm -hmm. see the, the commercial here on SCB TV with Leslie, you know, <laughs> talking about what Moy's Pharmacy is. And it's really, you know, truly a, a, a homegrown environment. You know, Tony's mm -hmm. done a great job. Lauren's done a great job. And, uh, you know, that's just represented through everybody with the organization. So kudos for you for uh, being there. Congratulations <laughs> on your you. five-year anniversary. Thank you. So uh, what else do we need to know about Moyes? Hours of operation or what? Um, well, most of them are open from 9 to 7, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. um, and they're open every Saturday. My store is open from 9 to 4. Um, and the other locations are open from 9 to 2. Mm -hmm. um, the other time that we, we had Michelle on, she, mm -hmm. there's something, she's down at Hudson Bridge, right? She is at our Jodeco location. And there's something special about her store, isn't there? Cause... There is. Um, her store, actually compounding, um, me and Michelle get to collaborate on a daily basis because at her location, um, she services hospice patients. Mm -hmm. Um, so we make a lot of topical creams um, to help deliver medications to the hospice patients to give them a better quality of life. Mm -hmm. um, and Michelle also um, is involved in doing some injectable drugs there um, that some of the hospice patients may need. That's awesome. So again, great way to, uh, to provide the service that's needed out there in the community. So with that, what else do we need? Anything? <laughs> All right, you guys have a Facebook page, no doubt. We do. Okay, <laughs> so you guys go out to uh, the Moyes Facebook page and like them, friend them, whatever you do on Facebook. And we also have a page. Actually, we are totally revamping our yeah. website right now, so be sure to go out there and check it out. A lot of great information out there. So, But we appreciate you being on the show. Thank, Thank you, you very much. And uh, until next week, you guys take care.